congratulations. Now listen, there's a group that's touring Australia at the moment. You may not know much about them, but they are unbelievable. If you go along to their concert, I know they're going to slaughter you. They're the Electric Light Orchestra. We've got them exclusive on countdown with El Dorado. Electric Light Orchestra. When I moved to Asia, when I was going to ASU before I had Buddha, I found that stadium I saw them in, it right beside A Mark Marsh Business, near downtown, near the cast center. Near, near the, I, I went for a walk, found McDonald's. I found that place like a huge gymnasium type place. Remold, re, remold now. <laughs> I remember going to that concert. I had a tape player, and they searched people. Then it was seventy-seven. And the guy goes, you gotta bring that back to your car. And, and I, the Nova, the maroon, maroon Nova with a black bottle top. And uh, I smuggled it in. I put it down my, in my sock. I recorded that concert. ELO. 
El Dorado. <laughs> and then, well, and, and then I got the, uh, couldn't take that, that dorm anymore. I'm supposed to have my own dorm room, my own room, so I make sink glass lamps, make a business. I got there, I had a roommate, and, uh, he snored, he drank, you know, he'd go to school, get off work, get out of school, and walk down to a pizza place right down the street. He'd get something to eat and drink pitchers of beer all, all night until like 10.30. By the time I go to bed, come in, wake me up, and store all for hours, you know. But I would be lucky if I could even fall asleep like four or five in the morning, maybe. And then I was determined to get a place of my own. Cause that pissed me off. I called them up and I said, I need my own room. I'm gonna have glass on the floor. Make stained glass box, you know, jewelry boxes and stained glass lamps, sun casters and stuff like that. I was pretty good. I was pretty, I was getting better and better and better, see. It took me two weeks, but I finally got that trailer at Apache Junction, right beside Mesa. I drove nine miles in one direction down Baseline Road through all the beautiful orchards and farms of hay. There was a I remember a cow farm, I mean, pig farm, stuck like crazy. You know, half, halfway there somewhere. Alfalfa, hay, grapefruit, avocados, lemons, oranges, that are out of this whole world. Irrigation dishes everywhere, everywhere. Back then, the Salt River, they dammed it up. Um, they the water to the irrigation. It's all gone. It's all apartments and strip malls that are vacant now. In, well, in, 19, in 1998 when I was there, I drove around. I couldn't believe it. All that expansion. You know, build a shopping center and 25% was rendered. Yeah, pretty bad, but yeah. That's how E.L. E -L, e -L looked back in 1976, or seven, when I saw him doing El Dorado. Can't believe this. And that's my favorite song from that album. Can't get it out of my head. And in that era, right, right before that, I can't remember the name of the album, but they had an album. It's like their second album, or third maybe. And there's a song called Mama on there. I used to listen to that all the time when I, when I was in Beatle School. I had to tape. I had a, a Walkman. I laid there at the school all day. You know, just got out of boot camp. And, uh, you know, I was studying. You know, 14 hour days. And, uh, more than that. It was like five in the morning till nine thirty at night. <laughs> wow, by sixteen hour days. And uh, remember that? What that? What that song called? K. Starts with it starts with a K. But uh, this beautiful mama, mama. It's a sad and lonely life. So, remind me of horses. Yeah, I'm trying to imitate a horse. Gallop. 
Midnight major madness, what the search for in this place. Gave way to the city, now she got smiles on her face. A lonely girl who traveled many days. A lonely heart that could not find her way. Oh, that's a girl singing. And she said, Mama, it's a hard life. Now you're gone. Ma, <coughs> Mama, it's so hard to carry on. And I feel like a fool who's lost it all. I, I used to think it's all so very clear. But life must go on. Though the end is near, the end voice. And I said, Mama, it's a sad and lonely life. Yeah. So I saw Elder Yellow Passage and Phoenix doing El Dorado. Then 1981, right, right after I met Terry, Mom. I took her to the Bristol Coliseum, where I used to work, and we saw time. John Lennon had just got killed. Jeff Lennon was very close to the Beatles, very close to John Lennon. He did a 50 minutes tribute to John Lennon. Brother. <laughs> Brush the tears and I got him the violin. He would he had a laser beam point at him and it was blue. And Robbie the robot came out and good just off the board. <laughs> Just of the border of your waking mind, there lies another time where dark <clears throat> where darkness and night are one, and as you tread the halls of sanity, you'll feel so glad that you are able to go beyond. I have a message. From another time, <clears throat> he goes, I have a message from another time. Come on. Spins around and goes, that's why like The vision's dancing in my mind. The air is gone. The sense of time. But twilight's gone through my window pane am i awake or do i dream the strangest pictures i have seen twilight i am i'm tired <laughs> yellow <laughs> But my hair grow. 
I'd wash my hair and tease it. That not brush it, not come in at a fro. Wear sunglasses or dark photograph glasses. People said you look like Jeff Lynn from the ELO. I probably did. My hair was very similar. Not that long, but similar. <laughs> I finally got my hair cut and <laughs> shaved my beard off. I had a beard, a beard about the first year when I met Terry. I, I didn't shave it until we got down to Naples. I got a job at the Naples Beach Club Hotel. I thought, I better clean up my act a little bit. I was a, sub, a subcontractor installing cable, installing preview signal cable first. It didn't matter. I, I wanted to try a beard out for a while. And it wasn't thick enough. You know, I had acne. Ac this used to be up here. But it's trapped down my neck. But it, it killed the, the um, hair follicles. Picking that stupid stuff like that. Back in 1976. In part of '77, probably. But uh, boy, Ugh. no dandruff. How about that? Good. Nothing. No flesh coming down. No bed bugs. <laughs> I need to get some sleep. Guy banging around all morning since six o'clock. Out there, I lay down. He's out there doing stuff outside, Bang, right outside my window. You know, you can only listen to music or wear earplugs. How can you fall asleep when somebody's banging stuff right outside your window, fifty feet away? Anyhow, that bitch. Wow. Oh, we can't see it. <clears throat> but there's a coal a coal burning plant right in front of me, right there. Huge smoke stops. Kind of like Shre Shreveport. What else can I see up here? Not much. Beyond that road right there, there's nothing. Chaparral, high desert. The elevation here is about 5,000 feet. Not as high as Solo. Solo is about 7,200 feet. But at, Nor at Northern College, near my condemned trailer, it's about 8,000 feet up there. That's why. Uh, oh, this is off time. That's why it's a good place to watch the eclipse. I found the best place. I was excited. Had a place to live. It turned out to be a nightmare. No heat. Watch the machine leak the water all over the place. They wouldn't fix it. They wouldn't fix it. There's dog shit in all of the couches, dog shit on the floor, and the carpet in my bedroom. I couldn't take my shoes off and walk on the carpet. 
could have been a nice place. It's a good location. Two roads met. Had a double driveway. You know, two entrances and exits. This led to the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird led to the Salvation Army House. I had to leave there. That was a chase slant tour. Had to leave there at the 11 days because I smoked. Actually, I spent 11 days straight cleaning that place up so I could, before I could move in. Nobody else helped. That nobody else was ever there. Nobody was ever there. Took my shoes off. Put my other ones on. No sense in wearing those. So I'm not going to bother going anywhere. I had them really tight. My right foot the lace up to be really, really tight. The other day when I was at Walmart, I was trying to find some FUBU's low cut. I thought I'd try those. I couldn't, I thought I found them. And all of a sudden I pulled, I picked it up, pulled it out of my, and looked at the price tag. It said nine bucks and there, there were high tops. I said, wait a minute. These are the same shoes. So I put them in the shopping cart, went to the cashier. I said, would you mind scanning this for me? What's this showing, nine bucks? She goes, yeah. I said, why is it marked, why, why they marked down nine bucks? Well, but at least they had white ones. They didn't have any white ones for about, from like to September till June. That's why I tried to order, order a pair from the website they sent me a size 12. I had to bring those to the Walmart Sholo. And thank God I was had my smartphone, my LG Power with me, because I was able to log on to my email, which I never use my smartphone for email. Use my Chromebook only. Why would I use a smartphone for that? And uh, I was able to find that email they sent me and I gave her the there's a barcode on there I said all I gotta do is scan that barcode right there I think sure enough it worked they refunded my money put my put the money on my debit card <laughs> I was amazed I was like damn it's I, 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 I don't Buy a pair of black ones there. That's probably that's probably back in March <laughs> or April. I was at the Soviet River. They gave out my white ones gave out there. I had to put my black ones on. I wore those for months, and then they wore out at the Thunderbird. The day I bought my and my Andes, E N D I, <laughs> and that frame that Terry that Terry sent me, my sister Terry, they smashed it. Yeah, damn it's in the post office as it was, but it was worthless. I almost threw the whole thing in the dumpster. I thought, wait, you know what they did? They threw it in one of my pots, my flower pots. Got leaves all over it, weeds. I, I grabbed the print, pulled it out of there, cut my finger even with glass. I was so mad. Dave, Sherman, Tina didn't try to do anything. Didn't try to save my plants or that thing that Terry sent me. It was John K, John Kennedy, JFK. He's a proud to be in the Navy. <laughs> I sent Terry that picture by email. She, she loved it. 
blown, blown up and printed in color for me. Mailed and framed and mailed to me. I guess it's in my sword somewhere. It was on my wall at the, at the Thunderbird room, at the Thunderbird Hotel. A bunch of other stuff. My jacket, my coat. I spent so much, so much money. I never did see my light bulbs. I had a box of light bulbs that I brought, brought from Huntington, Huntington. I bought two dozen incandescent light bulbs. Six, six, 60 watts. Back in about 19, I mean 2011, at the Home Depot by the mall, the Huntington Mall. And I thought, a couple of years, you can't buy, you won't be able to buy these anymore. Of course, now you can't. It's about two years ago. I stocked up. The ones I had left, they were brought with me. And I, 200 light, a couple 200 light, 200 watt light bulbs, a couple 150s, um, some 40 watt bulb incandescents, and a couple of curly cues, which I could not stand. Bad in my eyes. I still can't. St That's why here it's all incandescent. In the Thunderbird, they it, they had curly cues everywhere. I replaced all those with my own light bulbs. The overhead light, the lights in the bathroom, the lights we get beside the bed are mine. I saved their, their cur curlicues. And then I never had the chance to swap them back. Because Ingrid charged, um, had, had them charge me for trespassing. And I, was, I went and pushed a button on the Thunderbirds office door. I said, hello, I just, I just came back from my storage. Can I get my medication and some my bread and peanut butter and jelly so I had something to eat? I had food in there. And my refrigerator is packed. And then she said something like, uh, you're really not supposed to be here. You can't pay. Got to leave. We talked for right a minute. She, Maybe you better call the police. I said okay. I stepped outside, walked out in the parking lot, called the police, and waited in front of the by the deuce of clubs. And then the police got there, and they they knew me. They're friends of mine. They felt horrible. Then Ingrid said, I'm, I, I'd like to press charges against him for trespassing. Me. Me. So the police had to put handcuffs off on me, put me in the back of their car. They were very nice. <laughs> they felt horrible because I was supposed to be at the theater patrol back to mine. And, they got canceled because of that. I, Captain Gibson told me, he said, you got a record now. You can't be on the senior patrol. I didn't do anything wrong. I just couldn't pay. That's all. As a crystal left, I thought the place was going to be better. It got worse. And now the people who used to live there couldn't stand, they couldn't, they told me, the few people I talked to can't stand it. They died, yeah. I'm gonna, I wonder if Jim's still there. Probably. Jeez, what a, a nightmare. Then I got arrested, not arrested, police came. Had to go to court, be in charge of it. Shop with me at the store, okay, right down the street. I didn't shoplift anything, I wouldn't steal. Unless I was really desperate. I, if, I, if I was going to steal something, I'd steal food, not something to drink. Jeez, I'm not stupid. Whew, why did my head is see? Probably need a shower. I think I'll wait till tomorrow. Wash these clothes. 
Box eight, that's this blanket's filthy, the sheet. Box, but a uh, big load. But uh, t fucking show though. Fucking Holbrook. Taylor, Taylor's pretty nice in, in Snowflake. I like that area. But after being here, last night I'd lay down, it's like a nightmare. All because of Velda and Mark said, Mark. Sned, my cousin, I'll be to her. Forty acres. I was going to be the caretaker, the meanest guy, and have a farm, a garden, at least a garden. You couldn't even walk. There's cactuses and juniper trees, the real low ones. I couldn't hang anywhere, couldn't work out. Only a few trails that you could walk through. You know, people going through the fence to check the cattle. I mean, see if the fence is still good. Bar bar. <laughs> but I got the fuck out of there. Got there July 26th. Got there July 30th. <laughs> Down by the. Uh, Kiva met Mark Warren Hill the next day. Next day after that was Mark's birthday, August 1st, a Saturday. What a nightmare. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just trying to survive, have a nice place to live. Look at my hand. It's cold. Look at me. And I was just trying to survive and have a nice place to live. Never expected this shit. I mean, this is a decent place for the money, but I'm still in northern Arizona. I never. When I, the day I had to leave the uh, Bird of Life mission, Roger kept me saying, Oh, we got a, 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 somebody driving to fly stuff tomorrow. We can wait and you can go there and stay at, the, at a mission there. I said, I've been to fly stuff. I don't want anything to do with it in the winter. Every time I drove through Flystock, going down to Apache Junction, and back and forth, and with John Dewey, there was snow. Except for that one trip we made in August of 1976. Ah, it needs a heat up here. It's cold. Maybe, oh, that window's open. Well, oh, leave the window open. It's weird. I, it could be a lot worse, too. I must shut the heat off at, during the day to save money because it got hot up here last night. I, was, I laid down by 10 o'clock, fell asleep, five or ten minutes. I woke up at about midnight, before midnight, drenched with sweat. Had my sweatshirt on, got up, took that off. Jeez. I thought, man, I can't believe this crap. Should, should be freezing. When I got out of the, when I got back from my Mesa, when I had my brain hammers, crystal, they didn't do anything. My room, besides unlock it, and let the cab driver, her, whoever brought my stuff there, wasn't her. Didn't throw away my, anything bad in my refrigerator. Never fixed my freezer. My room was a mess. Had to throw everything away. You know, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. Uh, Food that was moldy. Jeez. The air conditioner wasn't on. Hotter than hell. And then, for months, my room was right in the sun. Every day, about three o'clock till it got dark, my room got hotter and hotter and hotter. So about seven o'clock at night, I lay down on my bed, take a washcloth. 
you know, wet and sink. Sometimes get some ice from McDonald's, put it in there, take my take all or most of my clothes off and just lay there. Cool off. It was so hot. I was so mad. Because in the winter it was a good room, but in the summertime that room was so hot. The uh, air conditioner wasn't working right. One day, the curtain came down. I was in bed, laying down, I was naked. I got up, had to hold the curtain up, right, you know, the window. I think that's when somebody saw me and said I was flashing somebody, but it's never happened. I put the curtain back up, the shower, the rod, you know, and that curtain was exactly how it was when I was there. Missing shower, uh, curtain hooks, all kinds of stuff. It didn't fix that place, that room. They just want their money. Didn't want to work. So I was kind of glad to see Crystal and Chris. Oh, when I was at that hotel, I was eating, he was, I was eating dinner at the restaurant right beside it. Guess who I saw? Chris. In the parking lot at the hotel. Leaving. Uh, he must have been there, he's staying there, I, I have no idea. But I'm sure Crystal's are right behind it. They have two kids, though. So. Oh, the kids were noisy every day, playing with cars, crying, screaming, running around. It's a hotel, not a daycare center. They act like it's their daycare center. Then I went down my stores. And one night, the day I left the Thunderbird, I collapsed. Not really. Didn't collapse. Jim Wilson. Oh, I went to that house right beside the library, right beside the Mormon church. I was laying down on the floor, and somebody smashed the window out. Glass everywhere. It was dark, piss black, piss black. I was at the Thunderbird, but not at the Thunderbird, trying to get in my room, get my stuff. And then I came back to the house I was in on the floor. I said, I'm in the house, don't panic. I was swimming in glass like this. Laying, I mean, laying down on the floor. Swimming in glass. I never got a cut. But then I, I, I found my lighter had a light so I could see. And then I got my, I, I had my clothes on, my shoes on. I went down my stores to get my charger, my Chromebook, and a couple of other things. That bag right there, Walmart bag. And uh, Jim Wilson double locked my storage. I was using my LG Power, no, my LG Treasure as a flashlight, you know, the LED light in the back. And then the power went out. I couldn't see. Dark as hell. Jim was in bed. I went, I guess you call it vain. Fainting, cracked my head. I lay there for seven hours, bleeding to death. Tried six or seven times to get up. Every time I'd almost get up, I would fall back on my head on the smooth rocks. Not lava rocks, smooth rocks, but rocks. Granite, I I igneous rocks. I thought for sure I was going to die. Huh. And then they brought me to the bread of life from, from some of the health care. Yeah. 
Some people would probably commit suicide. Psh. You still see the scars, see? My elbows. She's out of brain hammers. She. My elbows broke skin up from that. From that. <laughs> Trying to get up. My started to come back. <laughs> Had to go through all this shit. Then went back. I got out of the bread of life, went back there. Stayed in Jim Wilson's shop for a couple of days. He was stayed in his, that trailer there, a camper, abandoned. And then all of a sudden he threatened me to charge me with a trespasser again. I didn't do anything wrong because you know why? He wanted to drink alcohol, have girls over, not have anybody around. That's it. That's it. He's that way. 69 years old. Must be good in bed. He would go as far as to treat a fellow veteran like this. It was Jim's fault that I hurt myself. Jim's fault that I fell. Cracked my head open because of J. 